controversial topics um, and my lovely voice and uh, Kayla's lovely voice. So, yeah, stay tuned. Simplest. I do not fuck with the enemy. 30,000 to the den. 30 drums, 30 extensions. 30. We bring them when we hunt no business. Yeah. We fucking these stars for fitness. Bank rolls are large, you feel me? Large. I'ma go get me a bag. bag. They 
gon' be bitter and mad. mad. They already know it's a fact. No. Go to the show with a gap. Brown, brown, paper, paper, bags, bags. Cash, smashing your hoe on the low and she calling me dad. Smash, dash, smash. Cupping the bitch when she fucking you going outside. Sad, huh? Sad. I had a dream in the pool, I was swimming through cash. <laughs> Yes, your man, bitch, I will fuck in those first. Go grab them my jealous right there with the fur. Blessing on purpose, blessing on purpose. These bitches went missing when I was just hurting. These bitches went missing. Where? I put your bitch in the sand and put her on Perkins. Zen, Zen. Perkins. This was a part of the plan. Get me and this working. Quiver. I put your bitch on Henny, your Henny and Coca. Coca. You saying your wrist is rocking? Well, I got some boulders. Look at that boy. Ice on my neck. Cold shoulder. Ice. You talking about modern day rap, but don't know the culture. 50 bands in the motor. Hey. 12 can't pull me over. Snowball think it's polar. Hotline Motorola. Fancy bitches, go get the bad, the baddest bitches. Age of 23, I was in the magazine, the Forbes edition. Full brown paper, you bad. When you get it, make sure you count your racks. Brown, brown paper, paper, bags. Cash. Smashing your hoe on the low and she calling me dad. Smash, smash. Cup in the bitch when she fucking, you going outside. Sad, huh? Sad. I had a dream in the pool, I was swimming through cash. <laughs> That's your man, bitch, I was fucking those first. Go grab down my jealous right there with the fur. Blessing on purpose, blessing on purpose. These bitches went missing when I was just hurting. These bitches went missing. Where? Where? I put your bitch in the sand and put her on Perkins. Zen, Zen. Perk, Perk. This was a part of the plan, get me and this working. Brown, purple, bag, bag. Wad full of cash. cash. Pop up, Rossi, flash. Drill up, give me glass. Flash. Never look back in my past. Sip slow and live fast. I ended up in first place, but I swore a nigga started last. Swear, I was born what up, what up, what up, what up? If you are just tuning in, you are listening to Beyond the Pale. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kayla. And Thank we... you guys so much for tuning in. And we... Like, going to school. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we do. We have some special guests with us at our school today. <laughs> good second, good second. Um, if they want to introduce themselves. Yo, Max Goof and uh, yo, I'm Becker Allen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That way, that we, way. Yes. We didn't even do a drum roll. Can we, we do it again? We have some special Let's guests in the house. Let's redo it. Wait, <laughs> Maximilian Goofamus. Yeah. Beggar Allen here. Whoa! Yeah, that was a better take. I like that one. And they're going to introduce their new single out now, and the video's out now as well. Jiggy. Is it on all all, all streaming? All all, all streaming. On all of it now. We official, official. On YouTube. It's going to be on SoundCloud. It's on all the other shit right now, so... You guys might actually hear the whole thing early if you look up Jiggy, for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Let's get into it. Bum ass nigga. Dumb ass niggas. Cum ass niggas. Stupid ass bitch. Rootin' to an ass bitch. Guns are blazing, old shootin' ass bitch. Teenage mutant ass. You a jiggy ass nigga, but you flow ass. If you're purchasing that shit, get your dough back All them colors on your nigga, but your style boring Need to switch your words up like your Ralph Lawrence Call me Hal Jordan, but the black version It's the Birkenstock boys, we like black churches We deliver in the service with these God verses If you got purses, could you empty it out? Got a gun to your head, please enter a mount Gotta rob the whole game for not taking account that your looks take you as far as matchbox cars You're playing the ride and in the space you won't last that long And we gotta hear about it, it's the same old song, the same shit Fuck man, I'm tired, it's like watching CNN all fucking day with y'all niggas, bruh What do you do when life is getting on your nerves And there's nobody to understand the manner of your words So you panic, thinking you man extending on the curve Like, damn it, how the hell can I manage these nerves And you try to gather the words, but you resort to signs Language is a poor design to decide the reasoning Many tell lies, others believe in them I cry out to the ceiling in silence, concealing my eyes But really inside is the 4th of July Misfortune in time to crime and punishment Minds are destructive, constructive to hide the ego and post pictures and repost <laughs> only to go missing in vicious sinkholes but look maybe i should drink more water maybe i should think more smarter and drink more 
maybe I should think more water. Maybe I should drink more smarter. Mm. What up? And you were just listening to Jiggy by Max yeah. Goof and Beggar Island. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. I've been trying to have Max on the show since like last semester. Yeah. And so yeah. we're really happy to have you here today. And so we have a few questions for you guys. Um, yeah. I just got to pull them up because... All right, I'm going to ask first one because, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? So, no, 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 nothing. So... Who is Max Goof and Alan Beggar? Okay. Like well, let, let our audience who... let our audience know. Got you. I'll say who I am and then you can say who you are. <laughs> Max Goof. Um the I think it's easiest to explain like the name first. Um I don't know if you guys or your your listeners are familiar with um a goofy movie. Of yeah, course. Okay. Yeah. The, the one Great. of the best Yeah, one of the best black right. movies ever. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Um so I just felt like a strong kinship to the main character, Max Goof, in that. Like, he was always the kind of cool but not cool guy, quirky a little bit, um, always trying to get the girl, never really getting her until, like, the end. And plus he skated and was hella into pop music and yeah. R&B. So I was like, that's totally me, so I'm just going to snatch that name. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's who I am. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. And who are you, Beggar? Mm-hmm. Beggar. So Beggar Allen came about... I, I used to go by, like, the reason the tape is even called Jet Kiss Maximus is because uh, I was going by Jet for for a while. Like um, Jet, like J-E-T? Yeah. Okay. J-E-T, like, as a nickname. Uh, my first rap name was Miles Jetson. I had, like, so many. <laughs> That's crazy. Then it was, like, Jettison. I, I was just trying to keep on, like, keep the Jet. But then, uh, so, like, Beggar Allen came about because I had, like, this. I'm, I'm really into Edgar Allen. And I had, like, this collection, this big unabridged like, collection of poems by him. And, like, it disappeared from my house. But, like, no one stole it. I don't know. <laughs> I th- it was just, like, on some real spooky sup- supernatural shit. Okay. And He was like, I want these back. Yeah. <laughs> I can't find my copy. Right, exactly. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I have a, like, kind of, like, similar, like, relationship to him, too, like, as a person. Okay, um, okay. And you know, like he has a poem, uh, "The Raven." It's, it's, oh it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorite poems. I'm like, I lived in Baltimore, and I, my favorite team was the Ravens for obvious whatever reason. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even like obvious reasons. It was like <laughs> as a kid, I just like picked the Ravens for whatever. Um, so okay. that's just like what I was considering. All right, bet, bet. Yeah. Okay, so like, where are you guys from? Actually, that's another question. I'm um, well, about. interesting. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm from like the. The more shunned part of the DMV. I'm from Virginia. Okay. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> the yeah. shunned part. Uh, so I've lived all around Virginia. Um, I was born in Norfolk. Didn't live there long. Um, I spent a couple years in Chesapeake. Then I lived in Lorton for a little while. Um, and then for high school, I went to Arlington. Uh, I lived in Arlington. Went to Wakefield High School. Shots out to the Warriors. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, in the in the midst of that, uh, at some point, like probably when I was in about second through fourth grade, I lived in Tennessee with my granddad. Oh, okay. So um yeah, I'm kind of I've kind of been all over the East. My dad uh, lived in New York, and I'd spend the summers with him mm-hmm. when I was real young. Um, so yeah, just all over. All kinda, over yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had that summer <laughs> summer experience. Yeah. What about you? Better? Um, I'm from. I was born in Laurel. Okay. Uh. And then I was kind of like all around Maryland a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was in Suitland for a little bit. Uh, I just saw something. My bad. <laughs> 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 um, and I was in Baltimore for a little bit, like the Randerstown, Woodlawn sort of area. You're scaring me. What you looking at? Yeah, is there, a mo- is, there, is there a mouse in the studio? <laughs> is there a mouse? <laughs> what was is it? Really? <laughs> no, it wasn't a mouse. Oh, okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know me. Was it a bug? Yeah, it was a big bug. But it crawled under the door. So oh, it's hell cool. no. Yeah. We need an exterminator. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, WMUC, get it together. Who? 
Ooh, child, the ghetto. <laughs> yes, child, child. Uh, we got roaches in the oh studio. My God. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to have guests. <laughs> right? We keep looking over. I'm like, what's happening? Like, what's over there? That's embarrassing. That's like somebody coming over your house for dinner. Right? And they keep looking over there. Right. And you looking at the roaches. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. And this is first interview too. Right, right, right. <laughs> Don't tell nobody about this. He gonna be on like Jimmy Fallon. I'm like my first interview. Yeah, I was in this raggedy ass. <laughs> Uh, roach run across the house. I don't know if I'm going to come back to right. that. I don't know. But, <laughs> That's crazy. So, <laughs> other than our um, friends scaring away, I do just want to know, like, <laughs> what has your, like, upbringing um, influenced? Like, how has your upbringing influenced your music? Like, um, you guys have moved around a lot. You guys have obviously been in um, DMV for a while. And so, there's definitely, like, a DMV sound out mm. there. So, I want to know if that's influenced um, your music at all or, like, where, you know, your Or your parents. Come. Yeah, mm. right. Like. Um, as far as my upbringing, my dad was a really artistic guy. Um, like, uh, he would he would draw a lot. Like, his drawing was on point, like insane, like crazy, like almost like kind of like this mm -hmm. that you got on the table. I wish the, the listeners could see it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he would draw a lot. And, like, every time he would take a dump, like, he'd be writing, <laughs> uh, like, lyrics and, and stuff. So um, I think he was hella into um, hip-hop of, like, the 90s he's from new york so he was like really involved with that and mm -hmm. really was a fan of like wu-tang and, and things of that nature yeah. so um when i'd spend summers with him we would just drive around sometimes and he'd be playing like Sup supreme clientele or like okay. the the pillage by capadonna just real like real hip-hop you know yeah and so i think that got ingrained to me like through that and just like um more or more biologically actually because <laughs> um because like <clears throat> my mom even to this day will say things like you do you did you know that your dad used to like walk like that or used to like uh have that same gesture and i'd be like nah i didn't know that but like just things down to that like yeah. a chemical nature yeah. like it's just like i have a lot of things that i pull from him, him without even knowing it right. so um that is one uh one uh aspect of it another aspect is um, I grew up reading a lot, so I naturally wanted to become an author, mm -hmm. and I tried my hand at that a couple times when I was younger, but it never worked out because I just lose focus. Mm -hmm. So I figured like um, a quicker way to get out my creative output would be to write songs, because you could you know do that within a day right. potentially, and say that you've completed it. So um, I went from kind of reading and wanting to write novels to listening to music and and making music, so. That's what's up, that's what's <clears throat> up. You have a lyric, huh. a lyric about that in one of the songs, about you wanted to Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and one of the songs, uh, I don't remember what song it was, but I was like, sh uh, rap game Kafka, uh, should have been, been an author, author. Mm. shit take longer, so I had to make a song yeah, okay. to make, you know, hey, okay, 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 that's what's up, that's what's up. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> So what about you, Beggar? What has influenced your music, um, creativity, and so on? Um, mine was like a little bit sort of like the opposite of mm -hmm. Max. Like my dad didn't really mess, like still to this day, didn't really mess with like hip hop heavy um, and stuff. I had like hints though, like, like through my sister and like my brother. Like I remember, I think my earliest memory of like hip hop was like Bone Thugs. Okay. Like, I can't even remember the song. I just remember them like in this big grass. I was just, I actually tweeted like on Twitter the other day, like what song was that? Because I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah. I can't. And um, but like I was like kind of drawing and stuff, but um, like hip hop and stuff was not like heavy like in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister would play like things like Pharrell and stuff like that, which, you know kind of like rubbed on me too but um like <clears throat> early on like my earliest recording I was like probably like seven or something like mm. that wow. and I was like <laughs> recording like my ABCs I just know I was in elementary school that's mm -hmm. like my I like in a studio and everything and so I think like that made me want to rap because I was literally rapping my ABCs <laughs> and my one two three. Yeah. You gotta like, tell us more about like who took you to a studio to record. Yeah, your I'm ABCs. like, so how did you get in front of a mic or in, yeah, in front of a mic and um or like was some mic recording like on their phone or a recorder or something like that or like? Hey, my mom knew this uh 
my mom just heard her hairdresser like she mm. was real like tight with her hairdresser mm-hmm. or whatever and her husband he actually passed rest in peace mm-hmm. um like so i would go over th- her house um pretty often like when she got her hair done and stuff and he just invited me like in the studio and oh, wow. wanted me to like this, I was like intrigued to do something, mm-hmm. so I just wanted to lay down something. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, like, like, I know my ABCs. Yeah, my ABCs and one, two, threes. I was so young. Baby um, beggar. <laughs> Baby <laughs> beggar. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And I... uh, so, but like, I had a um, um, talent show. There was a talent show in my elementary school too, and I was rapping. That's like one of my earliest. Do memories. you have videos of that? No, I don't. Oh yeah. man, that would be like really dope yeah. to have like especially when you you know get big you don't get the clout you know what i'm saying know, like you, start, yeah. you know people would really eat that up <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh so i also want to know before we go back to the music uh what in the world is the jedicus maximus i know you mentioned earlier how the the jedicus part kind of came from kind of keeping your name in it but like how did what what is oh, what is the jedicus Jet- maximus y'all Max? hip to y'all hip to like uh biology and science and yeah sure. I, know, okay. I know about so, that field yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really know about it either. I don't know whether you're being facetious or not. But um, I, I did, like, something stuck with me um, throughout the years. Uh, there's this dude named Carolus Linnaeus who came up with, like, the um, specific um, way in which to name animals. Like, oh, specific yeah. Species. How to, yeah. How to name them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, it would be, like, uh, I, don't, I don't remember whether it's, like, genus oh, and then yeah, species yeah, 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 or yeah, species yeah, yeah. then mm. genus or something yeah. like that. But um, when we were kind of spitballing back and forth about um, the project and how we're kind of almost like a two-headed monster, we were like, well, what would our monster be named? So uh, yeah. I was just like, yo, <laughs> what if we what if we put like a, a scientific spin on it and named it like how um, like scientists name creatures and mm-hmm. call ourselves the two-headed monster mm-hmm. Jedicus Maximus? That's so they That's always have like dope. this Latin ass like weird as yeah. you know name so yeah i like okay. that a lot y'all i like that a lot and y'all make sure y'all go watch jiggy and we're yes. just gonna jump back into the playlist real quick but before <laughs> we jump back into the playlist you were listening to money by cardi b and brown paper bag <laughs> by mingo <laughs> brown mingo paper bag. bag we'll be right back and we'll continue our interview <laughs> and maybe ask some like more personal questions Ooh. maybe not maybe we'll keep it surface level <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, I'm all right. No, this this time job right now. Hey, <laughs> chill. Yeah, if I can pay my bills, I'm good. I'm coming over. Found a message in my bottle. Your son is coming up. By the bill, by ill, by boo. What you already saying? You ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. Listen here, I said my dude, and what you call it? It was heaven at the bottom, and peace from throwing up by the bill, by ill, by boo. My y'all saying you ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. I think I do this shit for real, dog. Hey, I ain't no motherfucking me, but I'm for motherfucking real, dog. Hey, mama, mama, I got some dollars for your bills, dog. I'm the head and I'm the topic, all that matters, I'm Jaleel, dawg Hey, yeah, you know I think the sunshine should feel how I feel How I feel, like, yeah, I think at nighttime She moves, she call my phone, hit my line I'm here for you at Eastside, shame on us Rain, come on now I figured the move, I figured, I figured oh. When I pay my bills, I'm good, I'm coming over Found a message in my bottle, your son is coming up By the bill, by ill, by boo, what you already saying? You ain't nothing but a baby, your fear is growing up Listen here, I say my dude, and what you call it? It was heaven at the bottom, and peace from throwing up By the bill, by ill, by boo Stop in Kansas. Toe do to do or do not. Do not forget me. I've been wild in Santa. Pop and rock them. Lord, forgive them for the talcum powder. I right now stretch it. Bless 
that's it. Blessed my brother and his record. On the record, for the record. Hey, and play it back, cause they respect us. Alright, now I got the moon and the stars below my feet. So low I speak, so I don't wake them. Praise the Lord, the guy in me who made me spoil with rotten teeth. So I perform the prophecy and on the norm, the plaque of be to be expressing who we are and addressing who they aren't and doing what they can't. And if I can pay my bills, I'm good. I'm coming over, found a message in my brother. Your son is coming up by the bill, by it, by boo. What well, you yeah, already saying? You ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. Listen here, I say my dude, and what you call it? It was heaven at the bottom, and peace from throwing up by the bill, by it, by boo. My well, yeah, already saying? You ain't nothing but a baby. Your fear is growing up. Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused You must think I've got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait I just need it now Let it swing my way I just need some dick I just need some love Tired of fucking with these lying niggas, baby I just need a thug Won't you be my plug, ayy You could be the one, ayy Can start with a handshake, baby I'ma need more than a hug Girls can't never say they want it Girls can't never say how Girls can't never say they need it Girls can't never say nah Girls can't never say they want it Girls can't never say how Girls can't never say they need it Girls can't never say now Oh now Give it to me like you need it, baby Want you to hear me screaming every breathing I don't need a reason, baby
Colleges, college is wild. Um, but welcome back, listeners. You're listening to Beyond the Pale. You're lis- uh, just listening to Reasons by Earth, Wind, and Fire, Girls Need Love by Summer Walker, and For the Squad by Zaira Rashad. And if you guys are just tuning in, we're here with Max Goof and Beggar Allen. Before we went to break, we were talking about Maximus. Jeticus Jeticus Ma- Maximus. Sorry, Jeticus Maximus. Don't mix up the genus yeah. and the species. Yeah, you know, <laughs> gotta, get it, keep it, gotta keep it scientific. <laughs> um, how did you guys get together for that collab? Um, well, we've known each other for going on, what, three years? Two, yeah, three like, years yeah. now, mm-hmm. which is wild. Um, but this year, uh, like, literally at the end of uh, 2017, um, like, I guess we had thought of like coming together and working on something just me and him uh, we're part of a collective called three side three side, three yeah. side. Three side. Hey. Uh, so yeah it was just me and him that we wanted to do something together like um outside of the group kind of um but with the support of the group members obviously um so january came and we were just me and him were like in the zone like yeah. um we were knocking out tracks um uh, like back to back to back and that they all uh, got written and composed or whatever um, within January of this year, and that's it was about like six tracks total. Mm-hmm. Um, we cut off one of them because of like just quality wasn't um, the best. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how it happened. We were, we been knew each other, and we were like, yo, um, let's work on something. We knocked out one song. We we're like, yo. We should do another. <laughs> and, and another and another. And another yeah. and Can you describe well that like it. process of like <clears throat> like that creative process of like coming up with like like finding a track, producing a beat? I don't know how that all works. Oh yeah. How um, you guys do it? Well, luckily we have like very similar tastes. So mm-hmm. when we were looking for beats, like we were like really like, oh yeah, that's the one. Mm-hmm. That's the one. And then that's the one. And then uh, we would just get to write in, like, sometimes um, we'd write, like, at the very same time while listening to it over and over and over. Like, we'd have it on repeat. And um, we'd share what we had, like, every now and then. Like, maybe we'd have half of our verse completed. And um, we'd be like, let me hear what you have. And we would just, you know, exchange uh, or, or rap for each other. Mm-hmm. And we'd notice a lot of the time, like, without even having conversed on what a topic or theme would be that we had written, like, some very yeah, similar so. shit, <laughs> like, some very similar okay, ideas. Okay, okay, that's so, what's up. Um, very just organic. Yeah, yeah. Just there. Like, 
I just like being around Max, like, just at his house and shit. <laughs> and so I think, like, around that time, I was just coming over. Like, even before, like, we started the tape, I was just, like, kind of coming over yeah. and, like, just chilling. And then, yeah, we just got to writing some stuff. <laughs> uh, so a couple of those verses on there was, like, already written. Like, I think, like, two I had already written before mm-hmm. we started the project. Word, word. Yeah. That's what's up. So <laughs> the video for Jiggy is, like, really fucking great. It's, Thank like, you. really Shout out Shane. <laughs> Real Shane O'Mac. Yeah. So, yeah. And did he produce uh, the and direct he the video? Direct, uh, yeah, he directed, okay. filmed, edited, all that. Yeah, um, that's what's up. His, what's his Instagram? I was his Instagram say, is... Um, well, he, his real name is is uh is Shane S H A N E. <laughs> his um Instagram is Lost Visual, I believe, I mean, but I think it's spelled. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I'm about to look it in, up. In between the lines, uh, cause gotcha. we gonna get my man some credit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that. okay. It's the number one. Mm-hmm. So the number one takes the place of the L. Mm-hmm. So number one O S T Lost, yeah, mm-hmm. and then underscore Visual V I S U A L. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Shane and in, in yeah, the follow him. Yeah, and the AV's he's got really on uh, glasses. So Yo, that's that's that's. Fucking yeah. Crazy. Shouts out Shane. Yeah. For and, real. and so, um, how did you guys come up with the like idea for the video? Because it was a lot of different like you know concepts mm-hmm. in there. So I, originally, what, what was the what was the ASAP Rocky jump? Uh, potato salad. Potato salad. <laughs> so like. Oh, with Tyler. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like we, we kind of like that. We wanted it like it, it's just simple. We kind of wanted to just like do something this simple. Yeah, 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 just straight to the bars, like simple, just like a simple vis- visual. You see us rapping and having fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so it was like we wouldn't even want to like do the car. Like we kind of like during the whole process. You know how you think of something, but then actually like you start to do it, and it's like right. oh, all these ideas start to like mm-hmm. pop up in your brain. So like the whole lot, like we just it kind of like shifted like the yeah. whole original idea. Mm-hmm. And um, Shane was a yeah. big part of that too. Like Definitely. he had an idea um, about the car mm-hmm. and us rapping in it. Like he had a he has like as all directors should. He has a really great eye. So he was like, "Yo, let's do this, this, and that." And so we we're like, "Bet." And then um, like the visuals, like that he did with the mask changing mm-hmm. colors yeah, and all that. That I'd, was dope. Right? I, was I just didn't like, even. Yo, this is cool. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, yeah, so y'all gotta watch Jiggy, but, yes. um, yeah, like, the visuals that he did, like, the effects, I didn't even know he was gonna do all that, like, I would've been straight, like, if it was just, you know. That's the best when you, like, but, ask for something and it's even yeah, better than you exactly. expected. So. That's how it was, like, with me and Shane, too, like, coming up with ideas, <laughs> like, like, visually for the video, it will just be, like, in sync, like, it'll be, like, even, like, something we know we what we're trying to pull off mm-hmm. and probably just doesn't have, like, the words for it, and mm-hmm. we was, like. I know what you mean. And then, like, it would happen. And that's what's like, that's the that's one. people you got to work with because you, yeah. you got to, you, you have the same vision. Yeah. So what is Jiggy about? Or it doesn't have to be about anything, but is it, like, thematic or just, um, y'all, I just, just bars? Well, my verse, uh, what came about, um, usually with all my, all my writing, um, I'll just start off with, like, I'll just come up with, like, a clever mm-hmm. um, line, like an opening, mm-hmm. uh, first two two lines the first bar just be something clever mm-hmm. and so um the first one was just like uh, you a jiggy ass nigga but your flow ass if you, you know mm-hmm. so um from there i was like well i might as well continue with whatever you know whatever with whatever um that topic you know seems wherever it seems to be going mm-hmm. so i was like kind of focused my verse on um kind of going at playfully uh just rappers that you know, care more about like how they look, mm-hmm. how they dress, than the bars. Right. So that's where I was coming from with mine. Okay. And um, so I think like, I think I actually had my verse like already or something like that. Like, cause we had we came up with the beat. I remember like hearing a beat and like I had this verse already that I just been wanting to spit. So, like it was already it was already like done. For right, and right. then I think he wrote his after after like me presenting that to him. Mm-hmm. And um. I think my verse was just more so like just like a philosophical. Philosophical. Yes. Yeah. Just like my ideas. Okay. Word, yeah. Yeah. Of existence. That's what's up. That's what's up. So um, you said that you were from Lord Laurel, right? So mm-hmm. that's in PG. So like I, I know a lot of people. Uh, I don't know a lot of people, mm-hmm. but like some people say that like PG is like Pretty Girl County. Is that true? Mm-hmm. 
Like, are there actual, like, you know, because I have Damn, I never, yeah, I, I never heard that. I haven't, like, cause I'm from Baltimore, so yeah. I haven't really, like, you know, been out in PG like that. What's the PG but, culture like? Yeah, yeah. We, right. We, get so, you know, I mean, we are can, in PG now. I can get that, like, cause, like, seeing both sides, too, like, Baltimore and, like, the, you know, PG area, like, it definitely is like that, like, girls in PG can definitely be, like, a lot more bougie mm. and just, like, st- stuck up, I guess is the <laughs> word, and, like, mm. this too involved in their personality mm. i think I, being in baltimore like they are a, a, a lot more open i would say you, yeah. you like baltimore i like i like the culture of baltimore like, okay cool i mean if you said you didn't we would have to kick you out the studio. <laughs> <laughs> um so good answer, yeah. good answer good answer good answer so i i want to ask um either of you like what so you guys dmv like y'all really been dmv so like are y'all looking for a little shoddy a little side piece like to just follow you around and like, like <laughs> you know, little, okay, are you asking I do just, they need roadies <laughs> yeah, I, I'm asking. do y'all need some some groupies we know some groupies so. i mean i hey. can definitely point in the direction of some groupies but i'm also like you know asking like you know you guys want you know a little side piece I'm, I'm, you I'm know up, yo. yeah he, straight yeah. up oh you have a girlfriend yeah shout out to my girl okay that's what, yes, that's that's what that's what we doing. I got a girl. I'm committed. I'm right. loyal. Right. I don't need committed. a side. Let him know on <laughs> air. Yes. And and his Shout girl Paris is part of Three Side, yeah, and she's oh, like, yeah, okay, yeah she's yes. a very very talented ass singer. Yo. Yeah, oh, she's dope. That's I've what we. I've seen that's her, what we like to um, hear. Sing a few times. I think. Uh, at some 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 events, I forget which exactly which ones, but she's amazing. Like yeah, she's really dope. She's, she's really dope. We just performed at the Crown together. Oh, oh I, I love the Crown. Yeah, I love the yeah. Crown too. That was my first time being at the Crown. Oh, really? Okay, wow. you gotta go. Okay, okay, yeah. you gotta go back. The Crown <laughs> is like my like claim to fame. You guys right. know they got rid of the Crown Soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Isn't that the so restaurant. Sad? They did. Yeah, they're yeah, getting rid of it. The Korean no, restaurant. Yeah. First. yeah. Damn. They probably gonna open back up. They probably no, had like a house not. violation or something. No, they, they made a whole replaced. post. They're getting. Rep- they're. They got bought. Why yeah. didn't anyone tell me this? So what? It was on the Crown's um Instagram. So what's gonna happen to the Crown? The Crown. I mean, the Crown, the crown is, is still like oh, good. Like, it's like the restaurant. Okay, yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, the restaurant. The restaurant was good, and I love the restaurant. But somebody told me the Crown. Yeah, yeah. I like. I'm like. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna buy you. I got it. Oh my god. All right. Just, um, and what about you? Because you ain't never answered my question. Oh, right? I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to avoid the question. He got a couple. Right, oh, he okay. said, I got a few. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah. you, 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 you trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I'm... I'm <laughs> Tell the no, truth. Uh, no, I, and I, shame I, the devil. No, I don't have anybody. <laughs> he deserves no one? someone. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think I do. I think I do. Supposed to like but, like that. but, 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 uh, and this is like a heavy butt, which is a type of, <laughs> we that like I, no, I'm joking. Ah! No, no, but this is a heavy butt. Like, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm like ready for a relationship yet mm-hmm. because just, um, like the last one I was in was like pretty much perfect. Mm-hmm. And, okay. um, and I just kind of, I like not to get all sappy and shit, but mm-hmm. like, I just kind of, um, I screwed up. Like what just you do? well, not screwed up like in the in the fu- like fucked up sense. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, you're like, like a wholesome like a, guy. Yeah, just screwed up in like <laughs> He's wholesome, you guys. Yeah. Like yeah, I try to be wholesome. We got but, a, like, a wholesome brother in the house. <laughs> yeah, I, I screwed up in the sense like I, I got really I got really um just stressed out in my personal life, mm. okay. and okay. that was my first relationship. So mm. I thought when things get kind of like a, a little rocky, that mm. that meant the end. So I was like, I might as well put an end to it. Mm. Yeah, so, that's rough. Yeah, so I'm, it was a but mistake. You live and you learn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, and me and her are still good friends. So I don't, I honestly don't feel like I'd be, I'd ever be in a, you know, in a relationship as good as that one was. Mm-hmm. So y'all get back together. Can I officiate y'all wedding? Um, we're <laughs> get, we're get her, we're get her on the show and we're gonna we're gonna yeah, make what, it happen. What's her name? <laughs> Give me her number. Right. Oh, no. We're gonna make it. 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 we are going to you focus you on know. your grind. You focus yeah, on your exactly. music. Yeah, exactly. So your that, that's your yeah. priority. Only one of us can fit in the bag. Right. You know <laughs> <true>? <laughs> speaking, hey, yo, yo, speaking of bag, my boy Tromac Pineapple and I just hey. recorded his song called Bag. Hey. Okay. So he's three side. He's like the 
I, pretty yeah, much I, a leader of three side. Yeah. Seen him perform. Okay. Yeah. So we got that coming. I don't know when, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. I that's just up. heard it yesterday, and that shit's amazing. Ah, when you guys, right. when you guys dropping in, can we get like an exclusive? That, I don't know, but um, like, can we get it's that his first? song, but um, <laughs> it, it's all up to Tromac. Mm. Um, we gotta, so, make I'll that put happen. in a good word. Make that what, happen. what our audience really wants to know is when you're dropping Dedicus Masculine. That's what they really want to know. October 26th. So oh! this, this, this Friday. Yes! Oh, yeah. This Friday. Every yes. I don't know how y'all didn't know that though, because every post I put on IG yes. <laughs> has been like obviously, October. Obviously, yeah, obviously, obviously you can't you read. You see who's on top of their shit. Where? Okay, you see who's on top of their shit. She asked. She, she, you asked the question. Okay, because I need our audience. Wow. Our audience. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but yeah, no, no, for the sake of the audience though, yeah. October twenty sixth, okay, okay. which is this Friday, and also this Friday we're doing a show in Baltimore. Oh, woo, woo. Yeah, uh, where we're gonna perform like a lot of the tracks off of Jeticus Maximus. Right. Where at? Uh, MySpace building. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar. No, but... I've actually never been okay. there. But it's kind of just like where RC people live. Okay. To okay. put it very simply. What is it near? Like the annex or the copycat? Is that like in that area? Kind of like near the North copycat. Bad. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think. I feel like I know every place in Baltimore. So when somebody mentions something that I don't know, I'm like, she's like, yeah, I don't, like yeah, I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> if, you're, if you're familiar with uh, the DJ K. K. Uh, Pequeno. What is he going to buy now? Uh, uh, something Coltrane. Okay. Some hard. Oh music. yeah, he he recently just changed his yeah, name. Yeah, I yeah. know him. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouts out. Yeah, Jay gave him a ride home. He had yes. that, that DJ board with him yes. that night. Mm-hmm. Shouts out K Pekan yo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> also shout out Jay Swan. Shouts out Jay Swan yo. Mm. And the whole Grey Gang, all of them. Oh, Station North Sad Boy. Yeah. His original name. Yes. yes. Yeah. Look at me. Station knowing, my, knowing my Baltimore celebrities. <laughs> I'll put her on. It's okay. It's okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Come on now. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to play we can get play one more song, and then we're going to sign off tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, But thank Damn, you guys Pepsi so much. Pepsi should, like, sponsor us. Look. Like, shit. <laughs> Hey, if, you guys, if you guys tune into our IG live tonight, thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you guys for listening to our interview with Jetta Kiss Maximus. Jetta Kiss Maximus. Maximilian yeah. Google Miss Beggar Allen Poe. Gang, gang, yeah, gang. that way. Three that sort. Way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to play one more song for you guys and then sign off. Hey. Pearled it. <laughs> <laughs>
You told me I could trust you Don't die I could really use you Everybody need love, even niggas like me You told me I could trust you And I could really use you So much I wanna talk about But I ain't got no one to talk to Shit, I don't <laughs> I'm always trying to work it out But somehow it always falls through And I know that I get rough But I just wanna feel love Sometimes You ain't sure the rhyme you can't feel shit Tell me I can trust you so Stay ten toes for a nigga Don't die I ain't running gang on you Stay ten toes for a nigga I could do your life Tell me I can trust you Stay ten toes for a nigga And I could really use you Stay ten toes for a nigga 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 Put fame, everybody know my name when I come through don't nobody screaming like you I was having visions with you Doing things, switching lanes in the beamer with you And swimming in deep water Save me from my sorrow Swimming in deep Just some pieces are I need So why can't I get that for you free? Tell me I can trust you Don't die I can really use it Stay ten toes for a nigga I could use your life I'm late. Trash. <laughs> um, I just but if you've been listening one... to our show, thank you. Yes, I just had one more question for our guests tonight. And Max, you know, I've seen you perform like a few times now in this mass. If you guys are, you guys aren't listening or aren't watching our we'll IG live, our you should definitely go on IG live to see Max in this mass right now. But I always wanted to ask, why the mask? Why pink in particular? Ooh, okay. And was this before Kodak or after Kodak? Before. <laughs> okay. okay. That's yeah. what we like to hear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, pink because, shouts out to the bass guy, Lil B. Okay. You know, bitch mob task force, <laughs> <laughs> representative 78569. You know I mean? He's uh, doing a lot on so, Twitter these days. Yeah, he's wilding out. But yeah, and even on IG, he's wilding out. But yeah. Oh his I don't thing, even follow him on IG. <laughs> His thing is pink, so I was mm-hmm. like, I, I I support what he's what he stands for, like the positivity. Yeah. So um, that's why pink. But on the other hand, like the dichotomous uh, side of it is like it's a ski mask, so yeah. it's kind of like some darkness there with hitting licks and and shit like that. Right. So um, I also kind of go by Lord of the Lick, and I dropped the oh, tape. That's yeah. Like it. yeah, I dropped the tape last uh, I think last year called Lord of the Lick, and that just kind of. Um, that came from just hitting licks, but not like on some crazy shit, but yeah. just like on some jugging like books, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I feel that. Yeah. I feel so if that. you look at the cover art for Lord of the Lick, like there's whole uh books stacked up on yeah. either side of me. <laughs> That's so funny. um yeah, that's that's how it came about. Just you know, ski mask on to hit a lick. And pink because positivity and shit. You know? <laughs> we're we're repping positivity and hit yeah. licks. That's yeah. what we're about. Is, okay? it, is it is it breast cancer awareness month too? Ooh. Maybe it's not. I think it is. But because of that Kodak, Kodak? 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 And he was like, I support <laughs> breast cancer. <laughs> and somebody was like, nigga, you supposed to support breast cancer awareness. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that man dumb. <laughs> somebody get there, man. Right. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for joining us tonight thank you for on yet us. another yeah. episode of Beyond the Pale. We have enjoyed oh, I didn't even figure out how many listeners we had tonight. Let's see. I mean, In so- the meantime, we probably had a lot. I hope so. I I, I you, blasted, you blasted the shit out yeah, of this. Good, yeah. good. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. And we had a lot of fun. Ashley, do you want to sign off for the night? I never want to leave. I never want to leave. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm Ashley. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> and, and I'm Kayla. And, and this my is, rap, oh, rapper name is okay. Young Lean. You know, Young Lean? Yeah. Young Lean. She's been saying this shit. Young Lean. 
Yeah, but, but she been saying this for like some time. Oh, I'm V. Yeah, the she the, she don't got no bars, but I don't have no bars, but <laughs> she, she does. No, yeah. yeah, I got that dirty. I'm telling you, I'm I'm telling you, when I get a ghostwriter, it's over for you, bitches. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, we could be on. We we should record a mix. We should. I volunteer. If oh, goes please, right please, I know right. she's gonna be fired. Write a track. Hell please. yeah, <laughs> it's happening. She definitely needs a ghostwriter. She needs to be a ghostwriter too. Jetta is back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be a rapper. Okay, everyone have a good night. Good night. <laughs> don't mean you smart, being dark don't make you stupid. A frame of mind for them busters ain't talking woo -ha. Need a paradox for the paradox, they tutor. Like two ties, LL, you lose two times. If you don't see your beautiful in your complexion, it ain't complex. To put it in context, find the air beneath the kite, uh, that's a context. Yeah, baby, I'm conscious. Ain't no contest. If you like it, I love it. All your earth tones been blessed. Ain't no stress. Jigaboo's wanna be. I ain't talking J. Mm -mm, I ain't talking B. I'm talking days we got school, watching movie screens. That spike your self esteem. The new James Bond gonna be black as me. Black as brown hazelnut, cinnamon, black tea. And it's all beautiful to me. Call your brothers magnificent. Call all the sisters queens. We all on the same team. Blues and pyrus. No colors ain't a thing. Barefoot babies with no care. Teenage gun told us that don't play fair. Should I get out the car? I don't see Compton. I see something much worse. The land of the landmines. The hell that's on earth. So relax. That in the split put me right on my back. I gotta unpack. Virginia Black. I could go make enough money off that to not even rap. What's that? Facts. Contract Max. I gotta bring this shit back. Hermes Link. Ice Blue Mink. Tat on my ribs like I do not know what permanent is. 